Hello, friends and fellow farmers. A day of mostly... Oh, the Dino Mayo got us... Uh, well, one of them, yeah. Wow, the Dino Mayo is very lucrative. Uh, not as lucrative, though, it seems like as the truffle oil. So 46,000 in truffle oil. Not a bad night. We got a bunch of seeds in the ground yesterday, and we realized we there's a lot more crab pots we can put out there. Well, I mean, we knew that, but, you know, <laughs> it's the second. Nothing special happening. Party! Kids haven't slept in a week. This, the, the, I'm try, I've got the sedate music on because I'm trying to get the kids to chill out. It's like, hey, I know, let's listen to music for our parts. The kids are like, all right, let's 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 try to calm down. Party! Uh, Penny, the kids are out of control. In summer, the ants become very active. I could watch them for hours. They have a pretty complex civilization from the looks of it. I, I don't remember if it was in this one. Recently, I watched... Uh, a movie, as many of you know the name, uh, Saul Bass, as a, uh, I'm doing titles, um, for a lot of movies in the 60s. That's what he was kind of known for. Um, all sorts of stuff. And, uh, yeah, Around the World in 80 Days, I think. Um, I'm trying to think of what other, so many. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, the quintessential 60s title designer. But he made a movie, he did one movie, called, um, Phase 4. Oh, you got 59 crabs. Yeah, we could definitely make some more crab cakes. Um, and it's about, uh, the scientist. What am I out of? I'm out of egg and oil. Wow, I made 12 more. I'm out of oil. So we have to press some more oil. It's about a scientist, um, that, uh, he, he gets a sense that there's communication happening with ants. And he then goes and uh, sets up a whole experiment and gets someone else to come with him out in the, the desert or something. And they uh, start trying to, they realize they can understand that there's, uh, ants have become kind of hyper intelligent and are now communicating with each other on a far more complex level than they previously had. And there's no giant ants or anything ridiculous. And it, it's actually not a terrible movie. Uh, I expected it to be not good, and I was pleasantly surprised. I thought, of all the kind of weird 70s movies I've seen in that kind of, that vein, like, it's a type of movie, you know? I think many of you would know, like, you think of the, um, is it Lemuel and the Ants? Or, like, there's, like, you know, the giant ant movies and stuff. Often ridiculous. Often kind of terribly done. This was actually fairly well done. And, um, anyway, it was, it was an interesting watch. I was called phase four for oh for, i put away the okay let's get the uh forgot that we had star fruit in here and it's all ready but any rate that was just just thinking of ants and their complex organizations it's actually kind of a creepy movie i mean the, the ending's a little cheesy um but this idea that like you know i think there's a a lot of 70s movies have, whether it's um, the old Romero zombie movies, um, or it's, uh, I don't know, anything from like the, that period, like the the 70s through maybe the early 80s, there's a very kind of like disaster streak, um, apocalyptic, you know, you think of like Mad Max, Road Warrior, um, Omega Man kind of time period, Planet of the Apes, there's a, a lot of stuff. And it's, I love two things, is that none of it resonates at all with what reality happens when, you know, the world goes a bit sideways. It none of that ha takes place. <laughs> we don't, we're, I'm not recording these currently from an undisclosed location off of a generator being run by, you know, gas that I've invented from, um, I don't know, using my neighbors for gasoline or something. It's not some horrible future reality. And it's, uh, so those movies, uh, you take, they're kind of more entertaining in a way, and less, like, kind of daunting. But also more, like, more ridiculous. You just kind of like, oh, really? <laughs> Which, they weren't as much. It's like when I was a kid, Cold War movies were a little bit more, um, like, a little bit more terrifying. As being a child of the 80s. Alright. Uh, well, I don't know if we, I... I end up having to get more of the uh, the seeds or not. I don't know. 509. No, we could do... Yeah, that's right. We could do a whole other batch. So that's good. If uh, we get through. 
Okay, is that all of them? All right, let's water these up now. That was a haul. There we are. Yeah, I always love learning about movies and pockets of things that, whether it's books or movies or music or anything, where you didn't know something existed. And just like, like I didn't realize Saul Bass ever actually made a movie. I was like, well, what? He made a movie? That's kind of cool. I'm willing to watch that. I mean, he's a good enough, he has enough visual sensibility, you think. As long as they had a, a screenwriter that had a literally head on their shoulders, it can't be the worst thing I've ever seen. I, I like those kinds of experiences in, um, in life when you kind of encounter something that, yeah, you just didn't expect it to be interesting or good and it is is this a like this this pot with the stuff growing out of it it looks like a bear like a bear's face is that what it is i totally forget what that was was that a gift or something from the bear i truly do not recall why we have some of the things in this game like when did we acquire that <laughs> no idea so we've got i don't know what is that 30 50 some 55 uh, star fruit now and yeah we got a few we can do a batch of wine now with some star fruit and some stuff we can do part of a batch at least okay uh, so I've got a bunch of coffee seeds on me I love this look at all this stuff did great and uh, did I forget to put like speed grow on some of this or oh it's just this stuff that I didn't water oops because the ground was wet with the other stuff so this does totally incontrovertible proof because that was unhoed previously that spot i should have watered it day one it does make a difference i think that was a question that i was kind of running through in um a much earlier season of this was does it really matter and definitely does huh good to know so uh, the times when i have watered crops right away it wasn't a waste it was went to good use then which makes sense I think I already knew this, but I can't believe I forgot to do that. Oh, right, I wanted to go see Robin today. What is... Ah, no, it's workout day. Nope. Sorry, gang. No, I know. Ah, she's got... Well, she got exercise. How else can she build the Herculean pawns and stuff if we uh, we keep her too busy? Right? Who's who's coming out? Who's coming out? Okay, that... that, that. Oh, Gene Arthur is doing fine. I watched another Gene Arthur movie <laughs> the other day. She's so good. She is a firecracker. If you if you're not, I I didn't really know uh, Gene Arthur very well at all. And I've it's there's some actresses. I worked with a lady once, who was one of those people who was like would just say literally anything that came into her head. And it was very, like, uh, the, I guess it was the kind of company where it would be tolerated. I could see a lot of companies that would not tolerate her. <laughs> but those kind of people entertain the heck out of me. I really, I've, I get it, I, I really enjoy hanging out with people that have no filter. Um, and I don't mean like that they're terrible, like terrible people. Like they're not, you know, saying dreadful things, um, for the sake of it it's just that they're fairly like if if they hear a good song on the radio they just start dancing like they don't care they literally just don't even it's like why would i not dance i feel like dancing i like that i enjoy that in people to me though the, i guess kind of uninhibited is maybe the word but not in a i don't know that some people are like problematic that way but in the sense of just like not afraid to have fun, I guess. Not afraid to, to be silly without, you know, uh, they don't need to be drunk or anything to be just having a good time. I, I enjoy hanging out with those kind of folk. Uh, what do I need to put in there? Is it wheat, right? <laughs> gosh, it was corn. Oh my gosh, where's my brain? Okay, let's go see. Did I save some corn then? Like, what do, what do I need to put? I, like, how do I forget what I need to put in there? Oh, good. Okay, I've got 70 corn. I might have some more tucked away somewhere as well, but let's go dump all of this in here. No, let's not eat the corn. 
Oh, is this thing this thing currently milling? Oh, it's got the milling symbol. Can't be milled. Oh my gosh. I what? My license is revoked. Oh my gosh, I forgot I'm like it's like I don't do this enough. And I was like, well, what do you do with this stuff? Of course, you put it in the thing if you want to get the oil. Obviously, you put it in the truffle press. Like a normal, any normal human being. <laughs> Isn't that what you do with your corn? You put it in the truffle press? Come on. Uh, this is why I forget these things. How, no, yeah, right. So we did need to get a pile more copper so that we could build more of our... our um, farm our fish farm things um let's see how are we doing here i did have a little bit more corn here as well um this is my one of everything kind of chest though isn't it that's my good veggies it's my gold, gold star goodies all right right and just my wild junk in there so let's figure it out now what do we did i right i okay we have a minute squid I don't have a sea cucumber. I think that was one of the contenders, wasn't it? Uh, okay. Let's try that. And the alternate was a wood skip or a crimson fish. I think. Well, one of these will be going. Okay, we got a Dorado. Yeah, we've got a void fish. Um, the uh. Because the slime jacks, once we get a few slime jacks going here, I I would take them out of the slime jack pond. Uh, right, okay, so I don't have any of these things. Cool, so I think I might... What do we got here? Nothing. I might put in uh, these here. Okay, that's cool, so you can put three in right off the... I didn't know you could do that. Interesting. Okay, now, all right, I, I, you know, I should really just go catch more slime jacks. And now I want to have a chest here. Maybe I should put them, I'm never going to remember that I've done this. <laughs> Probably a bad idea. Probably not a great idea. We're going to try it out anyway. Let's go collect our goods. Uh, I need to copy it up. Boy, oh boy. There we are. All right. Oh, and my earlier babbling. Yeah, the movie I was talking about, Gene Arthur. I don't even remember what it's called. It's got Edward G. Robinson, who plays a uh, a mild manner office employee who gets mistaken for a kind of a cold-blooded criminal killer, and he plays the, himself. And they did some is some kind of kind of cool camera trickery, some rear projection, some split film looking stuff. It's interesting. Anyway, she plays a uh, uh, kind of a person that just does whatever she pleases, shows up late to work, doesn't care, gets fired, is like, yeah, whatever. Really kind of an entertaining sort of character. And she does it with such panache. I'd say she's almost more worth watching it than Edward G. Robinson. It's usually, you know, he's a solid actor. He's entertaining. She's really good. At any rate, <laughs> for those of you who couldn't give a hoot about classic film... I'll, uh, I'll stop now. Wow, there's a lot of crabs here. Oh my goodness. There we go. That's, yeah, that's a decent amount. So we'll see how many this totals. So we got 12 last episode. Oh, what is she? Oh, she's sketching. Interesting. Didn't even notice Leah there. Yeah, this is bananas. Wow. So it's it's not the worst, actually, to kind of get around the whole place and do it to get everything. It's not so bad. So we ended up with uh, 15 crabs. I came from the sand of the ocean. Beautiful, isn't it? It is. It's lovely. All right, don't be caught over here after dark. There's a cur curfew. Um, it's just trouble. It's just trouble brewing. I really should have got the rest of the stuff. I What was I thinking there? Head over to... Oh, I'm kind of torn here. Okay, so let's... 
Let's do this. Let's dump all this stuff off. Okay, now what else do we have? We got some crumbled papers. Somebody's last will and testament. Okay. Some questionable eyeglasses we found lying around. No. Oh, no, no. We can't put them. Lobsters don't recycle. Got to put those in the other bin. Okay, is that it for... Stop. Yeah, that's it for stuff. Okay, perfect. I think that's good. I'm happy with that. Let's, uh, let's dump this stuff off, what we can. All right, we'll dump the fishy stuff off over here. Beautiful. And let's... Uh, Let's teleport over to the forest area. Yeah, that definitely saves a tiny bit of time. Not a ton, but yeah, it saves a bit. Saves a couple of screen transitions. Wow, okay, a lot of stuff's coming in here. All right. Now, if I remembered, I, I think I was initially trying to remember, I was like... Where is, uh, um, where Slime Jack's from? <laughs> and then I remember, right, the sliminess. And then I think they're from here. Oh my gosh, I haven't fished in so long. I've been, like, Animal Crossing fishing uh, earlier today. So it means, like, I'm totally... As I was talking about in a previous, uh, episode of, uh, Alchemy Story. About the difference in fishing between the different games. I think I was talking about it in this game as well, and how avoid salmon. Okay. I, yeah, I, th I thought you'd get Slime Jack out here. We'll find out. Now this one, um, you know, Animal Crossing is all about finding the right spot to fish. And once you get that spot figured out, it's really quite simple. It's all about just the fish and then the, you know, you got to wait till you hear the sound or feel the vibration and then you hit the button. That's it. It's pretty straightforward. Well, this is uh, a lot more active in the actual fishing itself. And it's interesting to see, like, some games uh, try to do a, uh, like, Staxel originally, they changed their whole fishing di uh, mechanic completely. Uh, initially, it was more like this. It was like you had to press the buttons in the right order, and it was, it was like, more involved. And uh, a little bit, yeah, I found it, it, like, I'd miss sometimes, right? Um... The garden pause, you just point your hook in the direction and click. It's pretty straightforward. That's not, not really hard. Um, uh, my time at Porsche was, I, if I recall, wasn't, wasn't too bad. I didn't do a ton of fishing in that game. Uh, I, near the end, I started doing more uh, because, but like, I kind of avoided it for the longest time. I don't, I'm just getting piled. Maybe this isn't the place I get. Is it out? Maybe by the sewers? We're getting like a lot of void salmon here, which is, I guess, pretty nice, but. <laughs> huh. Okay, maybe I'm in the wrong. Maybe it is the other place for Slime Jack. I'll try this one more here, I think, and then head out. Okay. I'm gonna head over there. I must still be thinking of the wrong spot. Okay, let's have a coffee. Timothy, we ride. But at any rate, um, I've gotten spoiled with Animal Crossing's fishing, which is, I think, probably my favorite fishing uh, game so far. Like, or fishing, like, game with a fishing mechanic. I think I, I really like it. I, I don't mind fishing. I didn't do it for the longest time because I thought, well, I, this is going to be terrible. Is it here even? I really don't recall. It could be that slime island. That's the only other thought I'm having. 
Yeah, would or would you just get algae out of here? It's funny is that in this game, I'm uh, you would expect that you're gonna um, that that fish is carp. Okay, <laughs> that seems obvious. Clearly, carp hang out here. Um, I, I in uh, Animal Crossing, I listen for the bloop bloop. Oh, okay, we're continuing to get carp. Let's go try this way. We're um. Oh, would you leave me alone? Okay. I just wanted to fish in peace. That's like, I don't ask for a lot. There we are. Now we can fish in peace. Yeah, this is interesting. I'm, I, I super don't recall. I would have thought the fish, the witch's uh, island. But that's, so void salmon and then it's carp in the other one. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, good, something. I don't recall at all what we would have got out here. I don't think we got a ton of the slime jacks. That's the other thing. Or carp. Huh. So other were slime jacks a rarer fish or I just fully don't remember. Wow. I'm sure that I'm gonna get a ream of comments. I, I do appreciate it. I I truly don't recall. I might even just look it up between the uh, the episodes, because I feel like I should know, but no. I must uh thinking of something else. Yeah, these carp are not doing me any good. Well, I guess we got lots of carp. We got lots of void salmon. <laughs> All right, there we go. These carp are just lazy. Oh, now the flies are all coming at me. Okay, well, I may as well grab some... Uh, Let's go harvest some fiber while we're here. And that's the most of it, isn't it? Oh, there's a little bit more. All right, that's enough. <laughs> I just can't even be bothered. Um, interesting, all right. So now with the void salmon. Oh. This pond is full. Oh, right, because we've capped out at three to start with. Right, so we can only load three at the start. Oops, I fast out of my yard. Boop, boop, boop. All right, we will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.